can be only one podcast and may it be the prince of the universe hi folks i'm matt and i'm wes hey it's christmas time ho 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 <laughs> the most wonderful time of the year <laughs> Yes, it is. Especially for you, right? <laughs> I'll leave some cookies out. <laughs> We've worked a few Christmases together we have. back in the day. Mm-hmm. It's it it's been crazy to yeah, say the least. It's been it's yeah, it's and, it's interesting to work around the general public in a frenzy. And a long time many a few years back we did a podcast about working the mall. Yep. <clears throat> and we talked about how Black Friday was something that we knew. It was a retailer thing. It was not, there was no such thing as Black Friday sales when we worked in the mall. It was the okay. beginning of that. It was the beginning of that, but it wasn't called Black Friday. Yeah, it, it was, was just the day, day after, after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> and we always had the big sales to get people in the doors because we knew now they're going to start spending on Christmas, now that Thanksgiving is behind them. Sure. Um, I, and again, I'm just going to recount if you can't find the episode. I don't remember what, which one it was, but... I remember you got to work on your library. It's I, hard I to find your stuff. I remember laughing with you, now I'm going, "Why?" Because the, the the mall put out that this year the big box retail, the the Mervins, the Sears, the whatnot, J C Penney, they all had to open their doors at five. And I remember thinking, I I I, t- I said, "Who is going to be coming up here at five in the morning?" You know, we had to open at eight, which was an hour early. Than what we usually two hours did. early, and oh, did we usually open at ten? Yeah. Okay, my You've bad. You've been out of the business too. I right? have, I have. Okay, so we were opening two hours Growing early, up. and I was like, well, eight o'clock. I get that. People are starting. That's when work usually starts. So that's when Christmas shopping starts. That makes sure. sense to me. And the big box uh, retailers used to open up at six back then. They open up two hours even before us. You know, so early bird. But now they're going to open up at five. And I'm thinking, who in their right mind is going to come here at five? And the answer was everyone. But it was called Black Friday for us, and no one else knew that term until you're right. Very shortly thereafter, mm-hmm. and then that 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 term got coined, and now it's a way different thing. Do you want to know? Do you know why it's called Black Friday? It, it's terrible for retail stores <laughs> to work. <laughs> it's because it's, in sales, you don't want to ever go be in, in the, the black. red. Right. When you're in the positive, you're in the black. That's when everybody. Gets their makes money. everything yep. up for fourth quarter. Yep, Black Friday. Black Friday. You learned Making something today, guys. Money. Um, but uh, yeah, but it was it was pretty miserable working a few. Um, busy, 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 and plus we were always when the thing that made it worse. Again, we, we kind of talked about this, but I just want to kind of go over it just for a minute. Um, was that when parents wanted to, when moms wanted to go Black Friday shopping? Where do you dump your kid off? The Babysitter's Club, which turned out to be our store. If they dropped the kid off with 20 bucks, he was welcome to stay until all $20 were spent. <laughs> okay? If they dropped him off with nothing, he was welcome to stay for five complimentary minutes <laughs> before we said, you need to hit the road. We are not a babysitting place. But that's what a lot of it turned out to be. Bunch of kids with nothing to do. That they had What little money they had, it was to go to the food court. But wild times. So let's back up to even happier times when we were kids. This mm. is your idea for a podcast, by the way, I should mention. I did not come up with this one. Uh, usually I kind of schedule a few of these, and Wes goes along with whatever I want to do. But Wes says, what about this? You came up with this a few months ago. And I said, I love this idea, but let's wait till it's around Christmas season. <clears throat> because I, we are the last generation who will ever remember this. The Sears catalog, the Christmas catalog. The wish book. The wish book, excuse me. The wish book that came around when? Was it mid-November? Or was it after Thanksgiving? I or think it would be before that. I would say you probably get it in October. Oh, you got it in October? Really? Okay. I would think e- so. I c- either way, I can't a- remember. I want to say it was, you know, of course, way well before Thanksgiving. You got to think but, back then. It took four to six weeks on shipping, so you couldn't be sending things out on no, November twenty fourth if you wanted on December twenty fourth. That's true. That's true. You didn't. So have you're the getting shipping. them out. So maybe it came out early, late September, wait. early October you're right. at the latest. You're right. It's just that I just remember just there. There's so many memories. First off, you knew about the time whenever it was. Could have been September. Let's say September. Um, you knew when it was going to come out. You just didn't know what day it was coming in. Yeah, you were just hoping it was soon. And 
this was the only time as a kid I ever cared about checking the mail. Because nothing ever came for you. Nothing, ever, And the wish book wasn't really yours either. But that was the you only thing. You didn't get thing. comics in the mail back in the day? We didn't get comic books mm, back then. I did. Um, uh, did my brother you order some? You come in the brown yeah, Well, I know. I don't know if my paper. brother ordered some back in the day. But with comic books, we go to the comic book store. We never mail order. Oh, this is before comic. There was a comic book store in this town. Oh, oh well, no. No, definitely not. Mm-hmm. So you did the whole mail order. See, no, I didn't do any of that. The only thing that we did, we did the, uh, you know, the serial mail-ins or... Oh, you cut off the UPC codes? UPC codes or the mailman in Mississippi knew the about The one mailman us. in Mississippi. Yeah, and he gave us the exclusive uh, mail-in Kenner stuff that would come in. So an Emperor Palpatine before the figure came out, we had. We had him as he was a promo um, we had another one too that he gave us. Oh, he gave us these little die cast Empire Strikes Back uh, vehicles and uh, little play sets, die cast metal. I don't know, all this little stuff. Yeah, that, that was would... that Kenner line that they tried <clears throat> to get to take off with the die cast for Empire and it just didn't really go anywhere. Yeah, but we had a, we had a set of those because he would just say, oh, these I know some kids that live in the neighborhood. I'll just drop it off to them. So we got little gifts from him every once in a while, you know, lost toys or whatever. You know de- the Garfield decal with the spoke that went on your spokes or whatever, and when you're, you know, what all si- sorts of silly stuff. This is two but, old dudes talking at the Waffle House. Right I, this now. is this is, but the wish book, the wish book was something that it wasn't didn't have our name on it, but it felt like it was mine. And it was funny because everyone in well, I don't know in our family, everyone wanted the wish book. If we if we got that wish book, we try to hide it from mom and dad. Mom and dad found out from someone else the wish book had come out. It was hand over that right now because it's like the newspaper. They sure. get to read it first. Yeah, everyone in my household wanted that wish book. Everyone, mom and dad included. This was something, and it was a brilliant uh, marketing uh, campaign strategy that Sears had come out with decades ago. I didn't realize how old this was until I watched a. Um, well, when you had told me back, kind of rewatched a, a little bit of a history behind it. Mm. And it's really smart because there's all these things. It's, it's, it's an encyclopedia of goods. It, this is Amazon before Amazon. Mail-in order Amazon. You, you want it, we got it. There's only two sec. Now, my mom went page by page by page, looking at every little thing that was on that list. We only cared about two pages, toys and pajamas. Because you wanted them glow in the dark, uh, Transformer PJs or the Batman PJs that came with a Velcro cape, or something like that. Those were our two favorite sections from the Wish Book. Did you tell me a few of your? I would wish say book? that would probably be up there. Was that there was any other the... thing? Did you look at? Oh, we didn't really. I mean, we kind of flipped through we clothes, look at bikes but... and stuff. Oh, Video okay. games came along later in that. In the late, in the mid-80s. Uh, that's true. That's where you saw, like, in television and ColecoVision. But that was kind of this... mixed in with the toys. Right. Toys I'm just and saying games, yeah. It, it, it was yeah. part of it. Um, yeah. Oh, no, definitely. But it was still electronic, so... No, yeah. I think you would look through all of it just because you've gotten tired of looking at the six pages of action figures and Never. bikes and we stuff would do, like that. We would do... Me and my brothers would do a draft... Like, you talking about Fantasy League Draft. We would sit there and go, okay, I pick this one. Oh, I was going to get that one next. Okay, what do you want? I'll take that. Oh, doggone. I was gonna, that was going to be my second pick. Okay, I'll trade you my third pick for your fourth and fifth. Yeah, I don't know. It was almost like Fantasy Baseball. We would just, we were we did, we would do uh, uh, drafts with the toys and everything. And you could go to PJ. you go in a PJ round later on, you know, because you definitely wanted those Optimus Primes. You know, they were staring at you, but you wanted to get the good toys first. Then when the good toys started dwindling, you went through went you know, to the PJs. We haven't talked about us going to see for another podcast. We went to see the thirtieth anniversary of I thought we did talk about that, didn't we? We didn't mm-hmm. talk about that? The thirty fifth. Uh uh-uh. uh. We'll have to talk about that. We went and saw the a few, while back we went and saw the thirty fifth anniversary of the Transformers movie. I we'll saw do it that. twice in you one did. week. I saw it with that's how bad my social life is right now. <laughs> I have enough time to see the re-release of Transformers <laughs> on both oh, screenings I enjoyed on both it. We will, days. We will talk about this one, though. But um, 
Yeah, but we would do that with it. We were just enthralled. We were just enthralled. And I I, I remember going in there with a pen. My dad and mom would get really mad when we do this, but we you'd circle, circle. You'd circle everything you'd want. And you'd double circle if you really <laughs> wanted yes, something. You did. Or you would change the ink color. Yep. Oh, no, we didn't have any different kind of ink colors, but you would circle it and make sure it was a bold circle, too. No one was going to miss. Stevie Wonder could see where yeah. you circled that at. And our parents were sitting there going, yeah, I know you want that giant play set, but you ain't getting it. <laughs> but, oh, man, it seemed like they had every toy imaginable. I mean, it was just it was just a, honestly, it was the Amazon of our time back then. Sure. You couldn't imagine that this store, this magical store called Sears, which was right down the road from you, had all this wonderful stuff, but only around Christmas Yeah, when you were time. a kid and you would go in Sears, you would be, the the magic of it was not the reality. Mm-mm. You walked no, in, you No, Sears go, sucked. It didn't have any toys. There's hardly any toys here. Yeah, there was hardly any. There's I can't remember there being seven pages line. of toys. There's... There's a whole Not even seven of feet of toys in here. What <laughs> happened? Yeah, exactly. No, they just had a little section over in a little corner. Yeah. And, but half the stuff that they put in the thing. But your you parents had... were enthralled because your dad could look at tools forever. Yep. Tools, lawnmowers, blowers, weed eaters, whatever yeah, it, it was blew, you're looking. Right. If you're looking for a new radio, a new clock, a new watch, maybe. Get your car worked on. Yeah. You, you could do anything. Anything. There was anything in that catalog. You could order it. It's in their warehouse. Right. Really smart. Like I said, before the internet. Yeah. This is a big deal. Your 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 childhood memories. Uh, I mean, I, I, that just made Christmas just a even more special thing because it was the circling of that and then seeing what you got. It was it was almost the the um, what's it called the prelude to Christmas. You know, you're getting amped for Christmas isn't here yet. Oh but yeah, the wish book it is, was is the trump the first tease. blaring trumpet. Yes, the teaser trailer for what would be another Christmas year. Yeah, it was two and a half minutes, which a lot of things in life are. <laughs> true. You can poop that fast. Uh, yes. <laughs> When you eat green, you can go clean. <laughs> um, let me ask you. Now, I don't remember. I don't remember what all we got and didn't get from it. I know I kept circling the daggum Batman PJs with the cape. I thought that was so cool. Because if you're going to go to bed, you may as well go to bed looking like Batman. I mean, why or not? Or just somebody with a cape. Or someone with a cape. You know, my brother... Was circle Robin, and then my other brother, brother circle Superman. We never got those stinking PJs, and I thought it's P- pajamas. They'll always get us that. We get something else, you know. But I remember I'd circle that every year. Never got it. Um, did you ever? It was the stuff. What stuff did you get that you always wanted? What stuff did you, you know, never get that you always saw just about every year? Um, I can't. I can't think of something that like stands out that I didn't get. Um, most of like. The, the childhood like memories that a lot of us have are captured in pictures. And um, there used to be a picture of me um, at my grandmother's house where she had like all of our grandkids and stuff. And this picture is also in my, in my house where I'm sitting with Superman pajamas on, on an orange couch with the Sears catalog in front of me, which, yeah, I know that sounds adorable, but... <laughs> What was extra adorable when I was little, like that was probably three or something here, Mm -hmm. I would walk around the house at night with underwear on my head. Yeah. So here I am with my giant water head, my curly hair spinning out under these red underoos, which maybe it was Flash, Superman, I don't know, and then Superman pajamas on with a Sears catalog. (laughs) So when I think of Sears catalogs, I think of that picture. So, um, I think that my, my one of my favorite Christmas memories is based off of pictures too. But uh, I want to say it was like '82 Christmas of '82 because I'm thinking about the toys yeah. of that year. Um, I got this cool blow up GI Joe tent. Okay, it was like. Yay high. Three foot tall. That's good. Yeah, it was like a raft, but it was a tent. Yeah. And I remember walking in, like, our living room. 
Yeah, and had all my toys laid out. And that's where the first year of the Masters of the Universe came out, and they they were lined out. I had killer Christmases. Oh, I think that was part of my traumatic childhood too. Because <laughs> <laughs> man, when Christmas morning ended, it sucked. Anyway, uh, but it was like that tent. I remember I had a Hulk and a Spider Man uh, stocking. Um, but that tent just really stands out. Cause you walk in and you're like, look at all these toys. You're like, wow, there is a camouflage tent with like the, the first, at, um, GI Joe comic, that logo was like yeah. on each side of it. Similar. It may have been a different logo, but that in my brain, that's what it's telling me. But it was such a cool toy. Yeah. Just because like you said, it's like a, <clears throat> your own clubhouse. Your own little clubhouse. Your but own little But you can just space. blow that thing up and deflate it whenever you want to. Yeah. But yeah, it was awesome. Light to move too. Yeah, bulky but look really you can, cool. You're not gonna take that outside and get it torn up. No, no. You're just gonna blow that up and yeah. beside your bed. Can I sleep here tonight? Correct. Need the secret password to get in. That is a cool. That is a cool one. Um, yeah, the, I, I just remember. I don't remember what we got from there. I don't even know if my mom ordered from there. I think it was more like a. Here's a general idea of what we need to look for. Bingo. For our kids and sure. ordering it. Because I don't remember a Sears box ever reaching our doorstep. Well, I know that it, w- <clears throat> the reason that Masters there of was, the Universe... There was a thing by, by free shipping for over $100 back then. Was, I remember looking at the toys because I had seen them in a store previously. But all of these, and if you remember when you ordered from like JCPenney's or Sears back in the day, if you ordered action figures, a lot of them were packaged differently. These were just like in plastic bags lined up. They weren't on the card. They weren't on the big red card. So I was kind of like, what in the world? It just looks so different to me as a kid. It's because my parents bought, hey, they're $3.99 each, or you can buy six for $19.99. So they just bought that whole jumbo pack, and instead of them they save right. money on all that packaging. We're going to put all six of them in these plastic bags and yeah. send them off. So, anyway, it's just a weird memory. <laughs> With underwear on your head. Yeah. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, I, I had looked into this, and I think the prime years for me, you're talking about 82 and stuff, I remember getting it back in... Uh, for, by the way, this thing got shipped to you. You didn't have to order it. I should also mention that. It, it got shipped to every household. You know, you got, and it was thick. This thing was like, you know, a good, good chunk. I don't, I think it said 600 pages I read. Probably. But it was a good, what, quarter of a uh, phone book from back yeah, in the day. High color, everything, very. Right. Very, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything was the color pages. You weren't going to conf- confuse it for anything else the, other than the cat, the wish book. <clears throat> this guy who took photos of toys, of clothes, of stuff like that. That he had one job and he did it well to make you want everything, everything that was in there, and so this thing went out to you whether you wanted it or not. You couldn't; it wasn't probably cheap uh, to send through postage in the mail, but I bet it paid off big time for them. Oh yeah, yeah. big time for, for sure. Them. And it kept Sears. I mean, if you would have told me back, even in the '90s, that Sears wouldn't be around today, I'd be like, no, whatever. It's not. It's, you know, that and Blockbuster would be here forever. Yeah. Lots of Netflix documentaries out there for yeah. that. Toys R Us too. Mm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the thing is though, but Sears and I and when I looked at the little the video of the history of it, I didn't realize it had gone on for as long as it did. Do you know when this ended? I would probably say like two thousand five. Uh, that's what I said. I thought two thousand five. That's exactly what I said. Two thousand eleven. How about that? Was the last time. Now, they did say it came back in 2017 for one year only, but was like a more of a pamphlet than a catalog. Sure. You know, back then, because they were hurting on money and thought, we'll just hit the nostalgia button and see what happens. Well, I'm just saying 2005 because I know in 2008, when I moved back home and started working again in the mall, Sears did not carry nearly the amount of stuff that they used to carry so i just mm-hmm. when i thought of that I'm, i was thinking i well, think you could even pick up a wish book at sears yeah you i could. think they had them yeah. in baskets at the front of the store now that you say that yeah you could buy them there you could get them well you could just pick up a wish book right mm, where they, I think they you sold them back in the day okay i don't know about the, for about a buck or so two bucks or so i don't know who knows with inflation oh, okay i do remember well yeah 
But uh, they went till 2011 that they were still sending those out. And I had no idea. But again, I don't think it was that big of a deal. We had kind of grown up by then and no one was really looking at that. And um, by 2011, the internet is alive and well. Well, but I had no idea it had lasted that long. Um, and it's still around in a form today. Amazon is now sending out little, you know, it's, it's, it's got a little thickness to it. But in Amazon, I don't know what it's called. Um, kind of, but it's just like the wish list. It's like, hey, here's a bunch of things. We're Amazon. We have it. We can ship it to you in, you know, prime shipping a little bit faster. Sure. Here's you your teaser. The, here's your free shipping. And here's all the, here's a, here's a glimpse of one, one millionth of the things we have on our website. Right. Here's the highlights, you know, which I thought was smart. Now, have I thumbed through it? No. No, I kept it because if my wife wants to look through, that's fine. It's Amazon. You basically kind of know what you're going to search for. You just type something in and it pops up. Okay, but it is kind of interesting to see that Amazon sees something in that old strategy and says, "Hey, if you know we can't get yeah, them, on- if they can capture You're- some one one millionth percentage yeah. of nostalgia to make you to make you want to do it, because it will it will impact some people." I was thinking, yeah, you know, course. does this really make a difference? Yeah, it does, because someone who isn't my family, I don't even know if they know what shopping on the internet for Christmas means. I, I have that says a lot for your family. I too. have given up. I have given up saying this is online. Buy this online. You know, at one time I just kept showing them that this is much better to buy. Find this stuff online. It's cheap online. Were they I scared even, when fire was? I, 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 to I them? bet they were. They don't know what it is and how how the magic is created that gives light and cooks things. Um, that's not because fire doesn't look like a microwave. And microwaves you can buy at Walmart. So why would you go online? Do they call it Walmart or Walmarts? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Maybe that's but, just a different Southern but, thing. But the th- but the thing is though, it's just it was banging my head against the wall. I really don't know what to put on there because all their stuff, if it's not on Amazon, I'm not going to get it for them. I will add every. I'll go through their. We fill out these little cards. Here's one right here that I was supposed to fill out and it's still blank because I don't know. I, what can I Amazon gift card? I don't know. But uh, I have to think of stuff that you can buy in a retail store because if you can't find this stuff, which I'm telling them, all this is on Amazon, I'd ask for flannel shirts. Didn't get a single one. Who didn't want to buy me a flannel shirt? This kind of links back to not getting the pajamas you wanted. I know, I'm getting getting nothing, man. (laughs) Is this like a peek behind the curtain? I I guess. But I go through through all their little cards. I check on Amazon if it's there and then add it to the list and then strike that. You know, we do cards in our house and then strike that from the list. And all of my stuff comes through Amazon. I mean, that's it. One big package, it all comes, or maybe two packages. Thanks for shopping local, you jerk. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Well, I mean, if it's something local I can get and I know I can get, Mm. um, then I'll do that. But no, if it's easy... That's much easier. I, I've worked retail for years. I would I hate going out on Black Friday. I despise it. In fact, I didn't for years until uh, I married Megan, and then I'll, and then you looked at life totally. We differently. have to go. Well, you I, no, I to still despise hate it. all kinds of things. I spe- I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I still despise it. I don't mind her going. I just don't want to go. I I lived it. I have to go out there and experience it. Yeah, you're an old veteran smoking a cigarette on the side. (laughs) Yeah, back in my day. Back in Nam. Oh, man. Yeah. But no, uh, but my memories of the Sears catalog, just going back, I just found it interesting that, and Amazon started this last year, if I recall. It could be earlier than that, but I remember noticing it last year. I was like, huh, that's wild. And then I saw, I got one again. And it was early, it was probably October when we got it. So about that same time, and I was like, okay, I see what they're doing there. That's going to catch a few people. People are going to look in that and go, oh, oh, I can get this on the interwebs. Okay, let me fire up you Ask Jeeves your, or web crawler your parents or whatnot. Now? I don't know whoever oh, okay. whoever doesn't shop on Amazon. But uh, the thing is, though, I mean, internet shopping you find a lot of different. And I wish that stuff was here. You know, some of my unique T-shirts I get, I got to get them online. You know, you think you think uh, what what's their what's their name in the mall? The one that has T-shirts every once in a while. They're not very imaginative. Underground, not underground. Spencers, not Spencers. Hot topic. Hot topics. You know, hot topics. You hot to topics. Hot topics. 
Did you I say that? just made the joke that I made about the WalMarts. Oh, okay. Is the hot topics, the hots, the hots, the hots topic. Hot okay. topic with an S. Okay. Even though it ends with a C. Okay. Well, I don't care. I don't go there. You don't anymore. care. It's I hard don't. to believe through this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's where we used to get those fun little niche t-shirts. Sure, verbiage tees. But now they're just the same thing over and over and over again. It's like they can't get anything unique. I mean, I, I understand. You go with what the majority think sells. And if Pokemon and Little Mermaid sell, you, you put Everything that on Everything just shelf. comes back. You can't be grumpy I know, I about know. that. But if I want to get my Hong Kong Fooey t-shirt, I got to go online for that. And it, I'll be honest, it is me. It's me we're talking about here. And so I'm not the world's, you know, I don't know what, 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 the, word, what the word I'm looking for is. But, you know, I, I got, if, I, if I'm going to get a T-shirt, it's going to be something unique on it. It's not be something you can get from the Walmarts or the Hot Topics or the Spencer. Keep, <laughs> keep going there, buddy. <laughs> If anybody's ever seen your sense of fashion, they would be hard to believe you even attempted to put something together. Uh, but do, do you think there is a need for a wish book these days? Do, kids, there's no way a kid looks at no, Amazon I don't wish think book and goes, I don't think. I think a lot of nostalgia is what... Uh, no different than parents pushing their daughters to be in beauty pageants and men pushing kids to be athletes because it's what they did so they yeah. want their kids to absorb that experience and, uh, the same thing they did yeah be a successful or and be if you more think successful. about when you were a kid you didn't want to do anything your parents did you want to be your own person kind of like yeah. you shopping on the internet now so, so well my girls are definitely going to shop in stores they take out for their mama so they're gonna be they're gonna be hometown shopping it so yeah now I, th I think that there is is there a market for it yeah, I don't think it's geared toward kids. I think it's geared toward... Older generation? Yeah, between your 40 and 58. Do you? Where do you do all your Christmas shopping? Um, I'm pretty much a shop local kind of guy. Okay. Yeah, well, you've been in retail for years. Right. So, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, but I mean, I, I buy a ton of stuff. I mean, if, if, if I'm with you on the T-shirt thing, yeah, there's so many different websites out there for T-shirts. Yeah, you get what you want now. You don't have to pick with what's out there. You can say, oh, I want sure. something specialized to me. Yeah. And there's so many things that customize things to you now that, you know, it's just the wonders of that. And Sears being gone, if that's the only thing, they're gone, right? They are gone. Yeah, they are gone. I remember when ours closed, I wanted to wear a T-shirt. My wife wouldn't let me, but I wanted to wear a T-shirt that said, no tears for Sears. I hated that place. They were just so, customer service is horrible. Um, we had shot there a few times and just gotten terrible. I mean, just it's like Randall. I don't want to be here today. Service. It's like what? You know, almost like that. Like you're talking to yeah, because you're wearing a Sam Sears, but this is not my department. Okay, well, who is it? I don't know. I said, well, can you find someone? I don't, what? But it seems like I got an attitude from everyone. They were upset that they were working at Sears. Don't blame me. Well, if you shop in the dying days of a company, I'm no, sure. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't. But I mean, there's. I'm sure, morale know, was not its highest. Probably not. But even this is years before they even, you know, bit the dust. I'm not talking about their dying days. I'm just talking through the years. And I'd stopped going years at, before they shut down just because of that. It's like everyone seemed pissed off, and they didn't want you around the store. The last like, thing I bought at Sears it was a refrigerator. That was like I 2014. Can't even, I can't even remember. That's a that's a that's an awesome question. What was the last thing I bought? I tried to buy a Christmas tree from them, but the guy was such an utter jerk the entire time. I asked for the Christmas. I said, "This is the one we want." I don't see any here. Do you have any? Back is this how we're going to end our Christmas episode? No, we will end it nicely. Go okay. ahead. No, I'm just making sure I don't want this in like a Dark Side of the Ring episode. Oh no, I'm just saying that he just di he didn't want to go back and look. I said, "Well, can you? I mean, is this it? Well, what about what can I get them all? Yeah, but I can't give you a discount on it." And I was like, "I I didn't ask." He said, "Okay." Well, we don't have a box. You'll have to go get a box and, and box up your... This was what he said. He did not want to be there. He wanted me to go away so he could go back to sleep or whatever. And I was like, okay, we're gone. And I just walked out. And I was like, I'm never going to go back there again. That was... I don't know. It was early. It was back in the early days. So 20... 
it may have been 2011. I don't know. But e- either way, I said, I'm never coming back here. Never getting anything from here. Because I had bad experience with them before. So, you know. But anyway, all right. So end it, end it, end it happily. Give us your happy ending for Sears. Sorry I gave a downer story. I don't know if that's the proper terminology to give Sears. a happy ending to Sears. West circled the toys, the PJs, and the lingerie area. That was later in life. <laughs> Those days it wasn't moving. Then it moved. <laughs> and life changed. <laughs> it wasn't due to a Sears catalog, was it? No, it was not. <laughs> it was not Sears. Okay. Okay. It was not Sears. Okay. Go ahead it now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I circled it though, what I really wanted. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Hope you're having a Merry Christmas, folks. Because um, this is fun. This yeah. is a fun one. Yeah. Thanks for this topic. No problem. I'm glad that I could add something to this experience. Yeah, yeah. So, hey, by the way, I, I keep forgetting to do this. If anyone out there has memories of the wish list and Sears Catalog, let us know in the comments. I'm reading the comments. Did you ever scratch I'm out what your comments. sister or brother wanted? <laughs> no, did you? I don't know. I mean, I would never do something like that. I'm too much of an upstanding human. Okay, but you just I'm brought sure it up, so did. I'm sure you did. Just saying there's probably a chance that happened. <laughs> okay, so let us know what memories do you have of the Wish book, okay? And uh, we'll see you next time on Princes of the Universe.